like them. They are delicious. But the meat is in the claw of the leg only. So. <laughs> okay, y'all. So trap number two. Trap number two. Fingers crossed. Okay, we need some lobsters. We need some lobsters. Come on, Anton. I'm trying. <laughs> One. That's a big one. My final shell. I don't want you to cut yourself. So just hold it like a little lobster baby. Little lobster burrito. Aww. So tuck the tail under. Hold the behind the carapace. Two hands, please. But yeah, this is the famous lighthouse. It's not a whole lot of meat. There's a heart to this to, to get to the meat. Scout. Good. Yes, you guessed it. I made it to Port uh, to Portland, Maine. But oh my god, it is still raining as you can see. I just got here from uh from uh New Amsphere. I made it here to Portland, Maine. I had to come here and actually give you guys a quick look even though it's raining like crazy. It is raining, this is ruining, this is messing up my trip, man. But this is it. This is the Portland head, what do you call it? Portland headlights, oh, hold on. It's like the lighthouse or something. It's called headlights. Portland headlight is what they call it. But you can't even see this because the camera's getting wet. Yeah, I wish it wasn't raining, but it is what it is. You take the good with the bad. We need the rain, okay? So, but this is it. As you can see, I have touched down. My foot is. See my foot? Foot touched down in Maine. That means I can actually scratch Maine off the list. Okay? I have touched down. Let me see if I could just take a quick walk here. Don't mind me. Let me clean off this. Okay? I wish I had an umbrella. I got no umbrellas. I got no umbrella. Okay, but here's the good news. Hold on, let me wipe off. Here's the good news. I'm here until tomorrow. I'm here until tomorrow. So, hopefully the rain stops today. And tomorrow, I'll be more than happy and come back here. So if it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll come back here and get a better look. But for now, just in case, I just wanted to give you a look. Um, in case I don't get to come back. Oh man, look at this. Look at that. Nice look over here. Look at this. If I don't get to come back, at least, at least you get to see it a little bit. Oh my God. I need an umbrella. But anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna make the best of it. I don't know if I'll ever, I don't know if I'll ever get to cut back to Maine, right? So make the best of it as much as we can. Oh man, I gotta come back. I gotta come back here tomorrow. Look at this. Look at that. Ah. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, I'll come back tomorrow. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. Okay, what's up here? This looks like a... Uh, what's in here? Uh-oh, okay. 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 All right. 
Again, don't mind me. Let me wipe off. What's going on? Oh, look at that, man. Look at this. Oh man, the things I do for you guys in the rain. Well, I don't just do it for you, I do it for me. You are just the bonus. All right. All right, let's go up here. Let's go up, up. Let's keep going up. I don't want to stay too far. I don't want to stay too long in the rain. But you get the idea. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. All right. It is what it is. You never know how these videos are gonna come out, but you can't complain. This is nature. This is nature. You can't control it. You just go with the flow. You just go with the flow, all right? So, I'll head back. But man, again, let me go in here. I don't know if I'll ever come back. I might as well make the most of it. All right. Oh man. Look at these houses over here. Somebody's got money. Right? These are probably very expensive. Oh, uh, look at this. There's a boat over there. Probably fishing for, for lobsters. Right? And here's the thing. Tomorrow, I am going lobster fishing. All right? So I'm going to be learning everything that you need to learn about how to catch lobsters. So, like I said, Hopefully it doesn't rain and they don't cancel on me. And so tomorrow, you stick with me. We're going to catch some lobsters, all right? But we've touched down in Maine. It's raining, it's crazy, it's nature. I love it, you love it. And uh, let's see what it's like tomorrow, all right? Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. All right, fingers crossed, check it. All right, once again, the lighthouse. We made it to the lighthouse. Right here. Here is the famous lighthouse. Okay. Even though it's raining, it's on the camera. It's messing up my vibe, yo. Hold on. Yeah, it's really messing it up, yo. But like I said, it is what it is. We're gonna do it however we can. It is what it is, man. But yeah, this is the famous lighthouse. Let me see, is this recording? 
Okay, it is recording, okay. So yeah, it is the famous lighthouse here in Portland, Maine. You get some fresh lobsters. All right, that's it. Signing off. I think that's enough in the rain for today. So, um, check in tomorrow. Well, it will be the same video, but tomorrow in the video. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so we're eating at Dimilo's, Dimilo's restaurant, okay? And it's right here. And the restaurant is a boat. It is a boat. Um, so the way it works is you get you get free parking if you eat at the restaurant, okay? So you get a ticket, you get the free parking, you eat at the restaurant, they validate it, and you don't have to pay. Let's go see what this restaurant is like. They told me it was a boat. Let's go see. you on the wait for there's no one else it's waiting. covered and heated yeah. but it's still outside, outside yeah but you can see it's right on this side with the panels are down the side this right. way yep yeah. go right through okay what's it So we'll take it, but sure. Yeah, they, they'll give you the table right at the front. At the front. Yes. Okay. Dimino's, okay? Famous restaurant here on Maine. 
it's a boat the, the restaurant is a boat um, we just got in um, this is the menu it's, as you can imagine it is a little expensive um, the lobster is $63 for, for $58 Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I just started a fresh pot of coffee. The one that was left was kind of the end, and I'm not sure exactly how it was. Okay. Yeah. Questions about anything? Uh, no. We'll just go over this. Yeah. Thank you. So here is the menu. Um, Twin Maine Lobsters, half a pound, $63. Half a pound Steam Maine Lobsters, $58. Um, Lazy Lobsters, $43, $47. So, you know. Um, mixed Seafood Broil, um, $34. And appetizers, Jumbo Shrimp, $6. Bacon wrapped scallop, $21. So you get the idea. Okay, but if you are coming here, we do they do have parking. Um, so you get a ticket and they will validate, as long as you eat in the restaurant, they will validate it for you so you don't have to pay for parking. And as I'm finding out, it's very hard to find parking here in, in the um, in these areas, right? The, I think it's called Commerce Street. It's it's, uh, it's very hard to find parking. It's paid parking, um, uh, no street parking. Thank you, sir. So as I said before, we just. I just came from the uh, from the lighthouse and you saw it was raining and it's still raining. It's still coming down crazy, man. Um, but I came here with the Demilos to eat. Um, you can't come to Maine and not get some lobsters, okay? So I'm gonna try the uh, the half pound lobster and see how that is. Still checking out. Yeah, Menu. ready, ready. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so I'll have the twin uh, lobster. Okay. The Do you twin want steamed or stuff? All right. So first on the list, we have we have the clam chowder. Okay. Let's see. A plus. Lovely. It's okay. It's really good. Alright, we got an A plus on the clam chowder, alright? Okay, so I want to be as clear as possible, right? So I got a, a bottle of beer, Heineken. Heineken is $6, okay? The clam chowder, clam chowder, okay? It's pretty good. This is the bowl. Clam chowder was, I'll give you, clam chowder was, bowl is $16. The cup is $9, the bowl is $16. So I'll give you some numbers so that, maybe that can help you if you are planning on coming here. Maybe that can help you plan accordingly Two, huh? I didn't realize it was two. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Alright. Match. 
veggies, Thank lemon you, holiday sir. sauce on the side there. Perfect. Got it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anything else at the moment? Right? Oh, good. Before? Have I had this before? Yeah. No. No. There's no wrong way with this. You can go right through. You should be able to get right in the tail. Yeah. When you do the claws there. The only thing, there's no wrong way. I just break off that bottom claw there. Oh, okay. Snap that right there. Yeah, no, I mean, I've had lobsters before. I thought yeah. you meant this. No, okay, no, okay. I thought you meant this specific yeah. one, yeah. but cool. Perfect. Cool. Enjoy. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, boy. It is here. It is here. Look at this. Okay. And. I forgot what this was. Let me see. Oh, this was the um, the mixed seafood. Okay, mixed seafood. And and but this is the this is the bad boy right here. Oh my boy. All right. Here we go. Gotta get to the meat. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So lobster is good, but I always feel like lobster is just like a big waste of money. I mean, it tastes good. Don't get me wrong, but. Not a whole lot of meat in here. So if you're really hungry, 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 I don't see how a lobster can fill you up. At least not me. It's still good. Scallop. Good. Good. Oh, no, yes, sorry, yes. Okay. Thank you, the middle. So, I'll finish up here. And I'll see you back in a minute. I didn't see, I didn't show you when we were walking in what it looked like walking in here. So, when I leave, I'll make sure to show you what it looks like walking in here, all right? I'll take the boat, you take the house. <laughs> Alright, this was it. And I told you I would show you the entrance. That was the entrance, and this is how you get in. So, as you can see, this is the boat. All the boats are right here. Um, and, and this is the Milos, okay? Very nice. Very, very nice. The rain, man. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain. But anyway, this is it. I'll see you tomorrow.
hopefully it stops raining so I can go catch some lobsters tomorrow. Good morning, Antoinette. Uh, it is day two in Maine. It's still raining, can you believe it? It's raining a little bit, hopefully it stops. But day two, I'm here. I told you I would take you back here when it stops raining. Um, so let's take a look. So this is it, we got a nice shot of the lighthouse over there. Very nice, and as you can see, there is a lot of buses and people coming here just to see the lighthouse, to look at the view. And it is early in the morning, it is about 9.20. So, here you are. can see this is a very hot destination here in Maine Portland um, you see all the buses you see a lot of people coming in to check this thing out so this part here is a really nice um, you can get a real nice shot, a picture up here like this. Boom. For social media, it'll look nice, right? So here are the hours if you are wondering. 10 to 4 every day. So this is open every day, sunrise to sunset. So the 10 to 4 is just for the museum, okay? So some information for you, um, like I said, this lighthouse here opens from sunrise to sunset, okay? Every single day, 365 days of a year. So, so coming here shouldn't be a problem. But the museum, if you wanna go in, actually go inside the, um, the lighthouse, um, it's uh, 10 to four, 10 to four every day, okay? And I think it's free. I think it's free. I think it's free, but they do accept the donations. So, um, so yeah. So that's the information for you if you want to come here. All right. Yeah. Um, so as for parking, there is paid parking. Um, so you can park 
and there's a meter that you can pay. You can use a credit card. I think you can only use a credit card to pay for parking. And the minimum is two hours. And for that two hours, they charge you $5. All right, so it's these meters. All right, as you can see, paid parking, credit card only. All right. So you put the license plate, you pay for your parking. And I don't see how anyone will spend two hours here, but the minimum is two hours for $5, all right? Nice, peace and quiet. No rain this time. If anybody knows the story behind these fort-looking fort looking buildings, let me know in the comments. What is the story here? I mean, I showed you this part yesterday already, but it was raining, so I want to make sure I show you when it's not raining what it looks like. Because yesterday I had to do it in a hurry because of the rain, but now... All right, let's go back up again. Yeah, like what's the story with these fort looking things? Wow. Hello. So I see a fort looking place. I'm going to go check it out. Looks like a fort of some kind. Up here. Oh. Here we go. There we go. All right, what's the story here? What is the story here? Somebody tell me in the comments. What is that? The people of Maine. I know you know what this is. Educate us. What is that? Huh? We'll go around. We'll go all around it so we can see. But there it is. There's a big drop. Big drop down here. You want to be careful here. Um, right here, yeah. Look like a big old fort. It looks like people write their names on these trees. See it? Looks like someone wrote something here. You can see it here. People write this high. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it for the lighthouse, y'all. I will see you on the boat. These are all boats that you can take. Um, the boat we're taking is the Lucky Cruise. We just passed it. I'm trying to see which one it is here. I don't see it. Harbor Queen. 
Where is the lucky cruise? Is it one of the small ones? And this is, of course, you know what this is. I was here yesterday. This is Dimulo's, the restaurant that we stayed at yesterday, that we ate at yesterday. Um, but I'm a little early today. Departure's at 1. They said I had to be here half hour early, so 12.30. And it's just 11.39. I'm already here. So I have about an hour to kill. Um, the lucky... The Lucky Catch, Lucky Catch Cruise, the boat that we're taking, it was $50 a person to do this. So if you want to do this, it's $50 a person. Um. can pretty much pick and choose which restaurant that you want to eat at um, on a boat. It's a lot to choose from here in Portland. This is Gilbert Chowder House. So if you remember the Millos, we had dinner yesterday here. Uh, we didn't have to pay for parking because we we ate at the restaurant. But when, if you eat, it's free. But today is a Sunday and the Millos is closed today. So you can still park, but it's gonna cost $8 an hour, okay? But how they get you is, maybe you need to know this, how they get you is it's $8 every 60 minutes. Okay, and what that means is if you come here and you park for 62 minutes, even though it's not two hours, you will be charged for the full two hours. All right, that's a tip for you. Still waiting for the, for the boat to arrive. It is now 1220. Um, so we should board about 12.50, the lady said, and the boat is right across from me. It's right over there. Lucky Cash Crew is right over there. And the boat should be on gate number three. And I'm just sitting here having some lunch at Portland Lobster Company, which is right here. Let me show you quickly. Portland Lobster Company. So yeah, we wait, I'm waiting for my lunch right now. Um, I hope they bring it on time. And we should board the boat any second, all right? Well, in about 30 minutes. All right, check later. All right, y'all. I am waiting for the for the boat to arrive. I am having lunch right before it does at the Portland Lobster Company. All right, and so the boat should be the checking in is right across from me, right there. The Lucky Catch Cruise is right there, so the boat should arrive at gate number three. And um, so we can have lunch here. 
There's these little buses that go around, like right here. I guess these are um, boat tours that goes around. You can take these boat tours. Let me show you around. You go. Thank you. Hello. You do? Can you go? You guys, any bags or backpacks, purses? Anything you don't want to hang on to? Jackets? Throw them on my engine box. See my jackets right up there already? Throw your bags, purses, whatever you want, right up there. Get to it at any time. Just easy place to store it. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think we're over here. Let's see. Anywhere you want. <laughs> Folks, you guys know where things are. Uh, life jackets, case of emergency, underneath the white benches. As you get up, you can walk around. Not stuck to a seat. We're a boat. We're going to rob from time to time. Just watch your balance if you're up walking around. Uh, benches, they are great to sit on. That's it. Don't stand on benches. Don't sit on rails. We want to keep you inside the boat throughout the entire trip. Weird rule. That black mat. We'll haul up traps in the rail. So you guys be helping haul it up, working in traps, and doing jobs. If you're not the one of the time helping, ask everyone else to stay off the black mat. We're doing trap work. It's because there'll be an open rail. They'll be lying near my feet. We want to keep you inside the boat. Uh, last thing, scuppers are drain holes. There's two of my stern on either side. They're under your feet. They drain water when it rains, but they'll drain phones and bags and purses and cameras as well. Just know they exist. You guys, that's Captain Aaron. Hi, welcome. Yes, I'm Captain Brian. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to teach you a lot. Lobsters, quartz, some lighthouses. If you ever have a question, ask. Easy? Yeah. All right, let's do it. What about you guys? Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut? Yankees or Red Sox? The Lakers. <laughs> yeah, great answer. Uh, YouTube? Virginia, Virginia Beach. Virginia? Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. Okay, gotcha. Now, Brandon, 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 Brandon. I mean, I thought I'd ask. I mean, it happens. I've been doing this for over 16 years, and I've had a couple inside the harbor before. No. Like you guys did for seals? Seals? I saw Harbor Corpuses yesterday. Oh, so. Pretty far out. <laughs> Alright, enjoy it, man. Yeah, we're staying within the islands as well, so. It begins. We are going to catch some lobsters. Main lobsters. Look at this. Royal Caribbean right here. I didn't even realize they had a port for for cruises like this here in Maine. Look at that. Look at that. Man, 
bring a jacket, bring some gloves. I am freezing my, you know what, off right now. It's very cold. Thank you. Right up next to the Coast Guard. <laughs> 
Well, you can stripe red top, connect the line, line goes above the ocean. And I work through in my day, I work through about three or four hundred traps in a single day. If I can average a keeper a trap, that would be a perfect score. So three to four hundred trap, three to four lobster, that's a perfect day. And guys, I use hydraulics. I have winch a trap up the bottom, a hydraulic winch. That's how I can work through so many traps in a day. Today I'm doing just the tour. So, you two. Start pulling. So three nights, this has been soaking. Like any fishing, nothing guaranteed. Lobster, crab. They grow about the size of my hand fully grown. You can eat them, they are delicious. With the meat is in the claw of the leg only. So fully grown, size of my hand, 30 make me a sandwich. That's not a market. There's no real money there. So we normally throw them back in. There's one other species here. That was easy. Really, buddy? <laughs> These guys are called Jonah crab. Same thing though. Size of my hand, fully grown, 30, make a sandwich. Jonah's more mellow. You put them on the back, rub a belly, they fall asleep. Belly plate, if it's Taj Mahal, Capitol building, that's your girl. Washington Monument, that's your boy. Science. <laughs> Pretty accurate. So here's the deal with the crab is this, you guys. I like to come and get them all out of my trap. If you want to come in and take a tree, grab a crab and throw it out, you can. If it pinches you, it will draw blood. Okay. It's just the way it's gonna go. If you can get one, throw it out, step aside. The best way is just get in there real quick with about three seconds, throw it, you're hopefully all right. All right, take turn. If you get one, throw it out, step aside, let someone get the next one. I did it. <laughs> All right, it seems way harder. It seems way harder than it. I know. It feels like it's not that valid. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're holding on. Grab the big one up the top. It's not as easy as it looks. Come on, Steal one out of the tank while you keep digging. Come on. Oh, oh, he's oh, eyeballing that. Oh, <laughs> <you're good. laughs> Literally, the best thing is if they're off, you just grab it for three seconds and they're not going to get you if you're long and quick. Alright, come on. Something special. Very big. Quarter inch. Measuring gauge. That's my three and a quarter. So the first one goes behind the eye. The second one, if it lands up on the back on the carapace, it is long enough. It's on the tail, it's too small. This one just stays right up on the back. So you see that? That's long enough. Tell me the carapace is longer than three and a quarter, therefore good to go. Now to get to this minimum size, it takes a lobster seven years. Yeah. See how that just lands up there? So that's perfect. <laughs> now you guys, they don't just grow overnight. They only grow when they molt or shed. Lobster this size has a shell for a year. For the year it hasn't, the shell doesn't get longer, it gets thicker. By the end of the year, it's very thick, full of meat, hard shell lobster. If you go on the size of the light, they split, they wiggle out of their old hard shell. Everything you see is left behind. New shell develops underneath 10 to 20% bigger. They're very delicate after they bolt. There's new shells like wet paper thin, so they actually hide and eat their old shell. Think of the new shell. Really cool. Now, crabs aren't the only things that walk in here. The way the trap works is lobsters, crabs, they smell the bait. They walk up the ramp by their side. They walk up, they grab the bait bag and they eat a free meal. After lobsters free meal falls down to the floor, it wants to go the easiest way possible. So they're not trying to jump and flip out. They're gonna walk up the ramp, through the hoop, in the back of the trap where they'd be stuck. A lobster's only stuck in the back of my trap though, if it's big enough or almost big enough to keep. Small ones walk through a scaven and they walk right out. So imagine six years of a lobster's life, they're actively looking for a trap. They walk in, they get a free meal, and they just walk right out. Free meal, free meal, free meal, until year seven we harvest. Guys, keep going. I can get all these all day. I've got keep going. Get in there. If not, I'll scoot it out. You're fine. I'm really sorry, buddy! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
we see the gulls love us, but not only get crabs, but they get green bait. We've done whole bait. There's two different species of gull around us. Come on, buddy. White body with gray like right you. over there. That's a herring gull. Stop hanging on! There's one the bow, right Stop the yelling at me! That's a great blackback gull. Largest gull in the world. White body, the black thing. The kind of gray or speckly yeah. little guy, that's a yeah, juvenile gull. It's a year old. He hasn't matured yet. He's either or. Like this so we're supposed to clean the uh, clean the trap by taking all the crabs out and throw them out. But it's harder than it looks. All right, they regenerate. There's plenty of them. All right, just give me your, just give me your. I want your. There you go. Nice job. Right, boy, come back here. Do you like birds? Once you unwrap that white string off, you can let it go. Find the end of that green string. Unwrap that green string right off. Once you unwrap that green string, take that bag, tip it upside down, and shake gold scraps right into the boat. Yes, please. Hey, birdies. All right, perfect. Come back over here. I'll trade. Take this one. Put that in. Wrap it around. Oh, yeah, the fight. <laughs> that wrap, wrap the original white string, wrap that around either direction, nice and tight. Alright, before we go, take the top of this trap and just flip it over towards us. Flip that right over. Now take this little bungee, set that hook about halfway over the trap right there. And that's it. Change out the bait. Perfect. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> that was impressive. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, get the top of so, you so trap the one, you no lobsters. Right now, we got a bunch of crabs, but no luck with the lobsters yet. So we're going to the next trap. Hopefully we can get some lobsters. Yeah, I, I, I recommend this. If you do come to Maine, you should do this. It's nice. It is very nice. Maybe come at a time where it's not so cold. Um, but big thumbs up for this one.
Today I'm a fisherman. That is what it is. Measure lobster. The female does have a little wider tail because she holds her eggs underneath the tail. But really, what we're going to look at, we're going to flip the lobster over. And so these fins underneath the tail here, they're called swimmerettes. The top pair of swimmerettes. That's what's going to be different for males versus females. Get these legs out of the way. But on the right here, this. These fins, they're soft and feathery. They just like smaller versions of the other fins. This is a female. Whereas on the left here, these fins are much more distinct. They're rigid rods, they have orange tips, and they uh, feel like fingernails or pieces of shell. So lobsters, how they reproduce is they, they do external fertilization. So the male will use these fins to transfer the sperm sac to the female. She'll hold on to it until she's ready to pass her eggs through that sperm sac. Those eggs will then accumulate on her tail, and that's what we're looking for as fishermen. We want to try to protect all the females that we can find with eggs. So it'll look like a big mass of blackberries, caviar, kind of in, in the tail there. And if we see that, what we're going to do is we're going to mark her as a proven egger. And so we'll put a V-notch, a scar, in the second from right tail fin. And it's always going to be the same fin because as fishermen, we're, when we catch a lobster, we're going to measure it. If she's of legal size, we see that it's a female. If we don't see eggs, we're going to see if there's a V-notch because she doesn't always have eggs. It's like even when she when she has them, it'll be on for a number of months, but you know, still there's going to be times in her life when she doesn't have have those eggs. So we just want to always protect her. Lobster about this size produces about eight to ten thousand eggs, and she'll continue to produce until she dies. So it's important for us to kind of protect that resource, put the deposit in the savings bank. Something actually that fishermen started in the 1930s because there was a market for lobster eggs in over in Europe. And then we saw a big decline in our catch. And the fishermen in the 30s were like, okay, let's let's protect females with eggs. And so now it is federal regulation. What I want for else you guys can see. If you drop it, you bought it. 
Watch Aaron, she'll show you how to hold them though. You're reaching into the tank here. So when you grab the lobster, it's going to want to flap its tail like that. It has a lot of sharp points on its shell. I don't want you to cut yourself, so just Hold it like a little lobster baby, little lobster burrito. Aww. So tuck the tail under, hold it behind the carapace, two hands, please. Um, and yeah, don't drop it. started to rain, y'all. So, I met a few people here on the boat who are on that cruise, okay? They're on that cruise and they did this as an excursion. And um, so the boat came from New Jersey and they had a couple of different stops. I think he told me it was a, a nine day cruise, this one here, out of New Jersey. They stopped in Maine, they stopped in Boston, they stopped in, what did, what did he say, Halifax? Um, and another place, I forgot what he said, but anyway. This one here, Liber Liberty of the Sea, right? Out of New Jersey. Sometimes you forget that these cruises, they um, they don't just go to the Caribbean countries, man. They go to different ports here in the U.S. and uh, which is nice. You know, they kind of stay local. This one stays local. Guys, if you watch this video, and, and, and as always, thank you for watching, man. Watch it all the way through. Give me a thumbs up. Share it. All right. Um, leave a comment, man, if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, and this was me. I got. I can check me off the list. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I'll keep recording, but for now, please subscribe if you have not done so. Please subscribe if you have not done so, like it, support the channel, man. This is fun. Again, um, I totally recommend this. You should do it. All right. You guys remember this, right? Dimilos, where we, where we ate. This is a restaurant. This was it, yo. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know how it goes. Till next time. I will see you in the next one.